Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. Okay. Energy is insane. Okay. So, I tried to get on a couple times and I couldn't. So, there's that. So, there's that. Let's see, let's see what we're working with. What are we working with? What are we working with? We haven't used that deck in a while. We haven't used that deck in a while. Let's bust it out. Let's bust it out. Which brought me to bust the rhymes. God, I haven't listened to him in I don't know how long. I don't know how long. So, and he's got some energy. And he's got some energy. All right. What's the date? I don't even know. I don't even know. It's the 13th. Holy moly. How did that happen? How did that happen? April 13th. I'm not going to lie, today, for a split second, way too many shots. Um, I was thinking it was May. Yeah, seriously. I don't know how that even happened. Listen to your heart. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that song just came to me. Listen to your heart. And nothing else you can do. Listen to your heart. All right. So you got the star, you got hope, you got hope. She's got rollers in too. Rollers? Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Rolling down the river. Huh. I never picked up on that. Okay, got the Nine of Swords, the Hermit, the Page of Wands. So somebody absolutely is hopeful to have a new beginning, but has anxiety, restless. There must be some sorrow, some sadness. I mean, there's definitely something somewhere. She's got tears in her eyes. They're just not rolling down. The depiction on these cards are all feminine. There's not one masculine energy. Well, there's masculine energy. This is a masculine energy. It's the page of wands, right? But the depiction is all feminine, okay? So somebody definitely wants in. But... Is nervous, not knowing how to. I don't want to necessarily say approach, but kind of with the hermit there, right? So somebody's using their soul, which is beautiful. Okay, um, it, it's just their nerves. So we got the nine of cups with hope. So somebody's looking for a dream, you know, a dream come true type energy. But there's there's definitely a pause. Healing. It's the Four of Swords. So I don't think you're talking about this. It's like... You really, I mean, you're definitely up at night trying to figure this out, especially with this Nine of Swords. You know, it represents anxiety. Normal, well, it says anxiety, right? But the normal Nine of Swords is, you know, restless, anxiety, lack of sleep. So you could be having a hard time sleeping or you're trying to meditate, but it's not. You're trying to go within. I mean, you're going within regardless. It's hermit style. I almost said hangman style or gangman style. I don't know. Remember that song? So someone needs motivation. Music might help you because, you know, Busta Rhymes is blah, 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 bl
that song, I, I, it was like a trend. Okay. So, but it was like, do the locomotion with me or like, you know, those wedding, popular wedding songs to love, to love, you know, something like that, where it's like trying to get you to pop up, trying to motivate you. It's not really the energy of it, but I definitely feel like you need it. So sleepless nights, trying to figure it out. Oh, what I was saying, definitely retrospect, um, hermit. So you are using your soul, but at the same time, it's like, you need motivation. I'll be a motivator. That's Kelly Rowland. It's a beautiful song. So it's also telling me someone's got your back. If you're the one that's like, I don't know what to do. You know, most definitely too with the two of wands, right? So here we go. It's like she's looking right at her or right at him. Him, him, her, her, right? Wanting to do it, but super apprehensive. Listen to your heart. Nothing else you can do. Listen to your heart. So if you guys are already coupled, it is... It's like somebody doesn't know, is like nervous. You want to go here, you want to go there, you know. Um, got the four of pants with the queen of pants. So you've definitely been holding on to feminine energy or feminine energy is holding on to this. It, it looks more like this energy is trying to make a decision about a queen of pants, so the masculine could be dealing with the Taurus. You could be dealing with an Aquarian. It, it, it's it's whatever. Zodiac, guys, you know how I feel about that. But somebody's being greedy. So at the bottom of the deck, you got the Ace of Wands. So hopefully that energy hits you real soon. Tell me about the star. That is a whole lot. I didn't even get there yet. So you got the Nine of Swords and the Alchemist. So something's already kind. It's like you're trying to... Mm, I feel like something's already been manifested, but it's it's getting there. It, it's... it's. How do I set something up on solid ground? Like, how do we make the situation solid? Seems to be the bigger question. Like, what's the approach? Can't come at someone with, you know, blase, blase. It's... It's a big deal. These came out, but I'm putting them back in because I just want one for the style. Nothing else you can do. Listen to you. I feel like this is definitely older energy. Okay, so I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius that's you've already invested time into this situation because somebody walked away already. See, Mingya, why does this energy keep coming up on the board? So the past wants to roll back around, troops. You know, don't shoot the messenger. Because I, I, don't, I don't see how this is beneficial. So I don't know if you guys are trying to manifest this person back into your life because you're lonely, you're bored, we're all quarantined. Don't do that. If you're doing that at a boredom, please stop. If you're not doing it, somebody else is. Because we don't need this energy returning. We don't need... I don't need to continuously tell you someone's trying to make a decision on whether or not they want to do this. I mean, I read that for six months. So I hope you're not the one manifesting this back into your life. Because you're going to repeat another cycle if you're the one doing this. Now, if this is the energy from six months ago that never made the decision, well, they made a decision, but they never really made a decision, apparently, because they're still here. But it looks like they're already invested. 
or they're hoping you're going to invest. But if you ask me, it, you know, oh, that was the Eight of Cups, not the Ten. Uh, just calling it how I see it. Uh, I'll leave it at that up to you guys on whether or not you want to entertain this energy tell me about the hermit let's see how the hermit energy is being utilized all right so we have the seven of wands in the chariot it's triumph it's success it's moving forward but it's with boundaries so if somebody's trying to set boundaries Or this could be a Virgo blocking a Cancer. Whoa, too many, <laughs> too many. Four swords, whoa. Tower and the high priestess wanted to fly out. It looks like some type of secret. Something's gonna come out into the open. Something. Especially with the tower. So if something was a secret, tell me about the tower. I don't feel anything about intuition here. I don't think anyone's going off intuition. So you, you're dealing with somebody who's got strong Scorpio energy because I asked for the tower and it's the Prince of Swords. So somebody's watching you. So it's actually an energy. Could be King of Pence. With, got a lot of Scorp in their, in their chart. Because they're watching versus anything right now. See what I'm saying? Like, Oh, I need to make a decision. <laughs> like, what? Get the fuck out of here. You've been doing that for pff, six months, nine months. Like, give me a break. Where's the love? Tell me about the four of pence. So I don't know who's manifesting this back in, but I'd be real smart. Because this is old energy. I can feel it. And majority of you do not want old energy, right? So, it's like not wanting to give up, but not making a decision. Tell me about the decision. It's like, how many times have we heard this story? How many times have we heard this story? Cry me a river. Right? So, there's there's a family life. Someone's got a family. So it's like they don't want to give up on their family. But they can't stop thinking about you. So I'm not saying this is like a vampire energy, right? But once again, if you're the one trying to manifest somebody back in, into your life, stop. If you're the one that got hurt and rejected, stop. I hope that's not you. I feel like it's the other energy that's within a family. You know, and it's hard because they would have to leave. It would be a fight in order for them to leave. You know. But if it's... There might be fear. Baby, don't hurt me no more. I, you know. I forget what I was even going to say. I got distracted. So they would have to leave a household situation. But, oh yeah, what I was going to say. If if there's mutual love, if if it's destiny, it, it, it's like the feeling just doesn't go away. When somebody wants to be with you, they want to be with you. It doesn't take six months or eight months or four months to, to truly decide. If, 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 is this my person? Do I really want to be with this person? There wouldn't be silence. There wouldn't be two months of silence, four months of silence, six months of silence. It, that's such bullshit. Don't feed into that. Tell me about the Queen of Pence. I, 
again, it could be strong Scorpio. Sometimes I look at that card as, as Cappy. It's more like, um, I don't know if she's going through a resurrection. He wants to resurrect something. Tell me about the death card. That's what I'm saying. Like, it was already over. Yeah, so it's like, here we go. Somebody wants a new stop. But, but look, the strength card reversed. Like, not, not willing to do it, not wanting to do it, not, you know, so it's like, it, it, basically why everyone's in quarantine you got this one particular energy that is having a really hard time getting you off their mind but it's like this is why to me it's like we don't need to know that it's disruptive or it can be disruptive for me as a reader it's, it's frustrating knowing that it can disrupt you guys and the their learning process you know what I'm saying? The the teaching, the learning, what you've gone through. It this is disruptive. See how this person feels about you. The we're gonna see how the person feels about you for the one that's in a family already. Or doesn't want to leave those dynamics. It is something for sure. Let's see how that person feels about you. Well, they feel like they stabbed you in the back or vice versa. So see what I'm saying? It's like still holding on to something they shouldn't be holding on to. She hurt me. He hurt me. You know, if I even attempt to reach out or or touch base, or try to rekindle, or have a new start, you know, this is going to happen. This is why this energy is disruptive, folks, ladies and gents. That's why. Right there. Negative ass energy. Still, still, this negative energy has thoughts of you. It's like, great, <laughs> wonderful. We got we got an uh, energy vampire. We have somebody who who doesn't want to make moves, not making moves. Hasn't in a very long time. And when they do think about you, it's not positive. So it's like, oh, gee whiz, thanks for bringing me into your energy field, buddy or princess. You know, it's, this is what I'm saying. This is why it's disruptive. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Wands. And mind you, if they come at you, they're coming at you with a tiny ass coin. See what I'm saying? And it's, it's you're coming in. They're looking at you as kind of like the Queen of Wands. Or vice versa. And then you got the Seven of Wands. I mean, the Seven of Swords reversed with the Hermit, right? So it's like this energy is not even talking to you with the Eight of Wands reversed. And it's like they want to come back and tell you yada, yada, yada. That's not solid. Tell me about the Seven of Pence. Queen of Swords. See all the women here that had to have been a family in the third party? It's like... <laughs> this energy is already invested. So you are dealing with an Aquarius. If somebody has an Aquarius moon, rising sun, it's like the Aquarian energy. Okay? And... Or... You know, this woman has hopes to rekindle something after an affair or a shish, however it goes down. But it's like, you still have the other woman right here. Look at the man's not even showing his face in this read. But this person can't get you off your mind. Like, they're dreaming about you. But it's like, it, it, there is such negative negativity. That's that's a downfall. I don't, you know what I mean. That's it's a it's a wicked downfall. There's nothing positive, you know. Let's 
We always think about energy off and on. So it's like they're blocking you, not even talking to you. Thinking about you, watching you. It's just, they're disrupting their own life too by not moving forward, staying in this energy, you know? Because Sutton was completely over and dead. I'm telling you this right now. Here's the thing. When all these three cards show up on my board, the Ten of Swords, the Tower, and the Death card, that's a finality. That's never, ever, ever again. So it's either never, ever, ever again with the mistress or never, ever, ever again with the wife, considering all the women are on the board. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, what if you're the never, ever, ever, but yet here you are? Or you're still the never ever and it's the other energy thinking of you but never ever in the book of forever is this person coming back, right? So that's what I'm saying. Like the fact that this energy still comes out on the board, this this is like proving my point right here. The fact that this energy is still out on my board is because somebody wants it back. Somebody's trying to manifest it. And it's dead. It's done. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. The lovers. See what I'm saying? But somebody makes someone happy. But it's like that one particular energy doesn't won't go after it. Yeah, too afraid of, of breaking somebody else's heart. If somebody gave, there was definitely an affair. It's like, I don't even need to keep doing this to you guys, honestly. If you're the one that's just kind of like having a hard time, trust me. Okay, put it this way. If there was already a breakup or you guys let go of each other, whether it was a commitment or not, obviously people fell in love, there was an affair. Right, that was a given. Clear as day, it's right there. If you're the one that's already been hurt and it's done and it's gone, because this energy came in yesterday and the Queen of Wands was, was moving forward, pushing through after that whole Ten of Swords, that just showed up again. So I'm assuming it's not you guys because you have different energy. So I am going to assume it's the masculine thinking about you, but still they're not doing nothing. So how that's not beneficial for you. I don't want to read that. If the person comes back in, we'll see it. But I don't, I don't see it. Like there, the, I, once again, no interaction, no nothing. It's almost like I don't know if spirit thought they could keep this on my board because yesterday I was very um, mellow about the situation because it was a holiday and I get it, I get it. But to have the same story come in that's been coming in for the last six months, two months, no. Nope. No. It's, it's not healthy. I'm not going to sit here and feed into it. At all. So, I, I want to say, I want to be able to help you out if I see you guys conversating or, or anything like that. Like, if I saw something that was worth talking about and guiding you through I most definitely would but I I don't there's nothing showing me on my board that needs guidance and I think that's why I'm frustrated as the teacher how can I teach you guys if, if there's nothing to go on right so, there's that. 
so obviously you guys must have had a, a strong bond or, or something or it's like the energy is getting the best of them now I don't know how else to explain it but there's nothing there that came out once again for me to guide you okay so let's do another one for the ones who you know I'm not dealing with that I don't even want to word it like that because you may not be dealing with it but it's still in your energy because that's your past right so let's not look at your past because let's let's look at the very current moment without this energy in your field Page of Wands. You want to go on a new adventure. You got the High Priestess. You're thinking about it. Well, it's not that you're thinking about it. You are. You're just. You're using your intuition here. You're trying to be. You're trying to be flexible, which is nice. Balance. You must be extremely intuitive, or there's something about, or there's something about your new path. That you have some inner wisdom, some inner knowledge. That was four cards. I don't need four. So you could be a fire sign or a Pisces. Ace of Wands, bottom of the deck, the same energy. But it's, it's different cards. So you're smart about something. You, you're knowledgeable. You know, you're using your intuition. You're knowledgeable when it comes to something. Tell me about the page of wands. So this could be, if real quick, because the page of wands came out again like that, and I meant to mention it in the other reading, I forgot. They, I, I, it's almost like, well, I think I did say it, but basically, this energy could be watching you have a new start. You know what I mean? It could be that type of energy. So this could actually be the queen of wands energy, which would be your energy, moving forward. If that resonates with some of you. But this is, you know, if that's what you're not interested in and there's no going backwards and that's, that's done, it's the finality for you because you've had enough. You know what I mean? You're going towards your happiness too. Right? So it is almost like that other energy is watching you create, watching you being happy. Because the High Priestess was actually next to the Nine of Cups, too, before. So, yeah, trying to figure out. It's like keeping your options open, trying to figure out what's next, using your inner wisdom, trying to be smart about it, you know, just moving forward, being positive. But there's something. Two of Pence. There's something, um... Because you haven't quite made the decision yet on something, but it doesn't have anything to do with the other energy. It's just, <clears throat> you know, guys, it's just you fall. It's like the feminine. <laughs> That's the door wide open. So, oh, it sounds like you're overheating. Um,. You know, going on an adventure. Going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Going through the sky, little Einstein. 
Climb aboard, get ready to explore. There's so much of that. See, it's like you're you're down, you're going on an adventure. You know? It's like to me, you're just finding your balance. You're just finding that type of stuff. The Eight of Wands popped, I mean, the Eight of Swords popped out with a whole bunch of other cards. So I don't know if you're a little confused. The Seven of Cups can state confusion. But it's about you. Look at all the feminine energy, right? So see what I'm saying? It's, it's about you. Look at all this feminine energy. Like, you're really feeding you, which is nice. Nurturing you. Making practical decisions. So I don't know if you're thinking about starting something or, you know, the Empress could be come out because a lot of people are working from home right now too. That's way too many. Tell me about the Empress. So you like, you like someone. You're thinking about someone. And this makes sense if it's new because someone's coming in as a prince versus a king or an emperor. Trying to find balance within the situation. See, someone, you probably just got out of the heartache with that last energy that was toxic. See what I'm saying? It's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, we don't need to know about that energy no more. Point proven. Okay, this is the new energy that's coming in or you're already dealing with it. And you're trying to find balance within the situation because it's, there's something new here. Yeah. So, again, something new, starting fresh, being smart about it, practical decisions. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Using your intuition, that the knowledge that you've learned from the past. So you're being smart about something. You're being smart about a new beginning is what you're doing. So that's good. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. So to me, you're probably talking to someone, someone new. And yeah, with the Princess of Cups too. So you're actually on the same page as somebody when it comes to feelings and manifesting. So if you are seeing someone new, dating something new, whatever's going down with you, just know you and the other energy are on the same page. Okay. And you are entering a new cycle. So I do feel it's like a little bit of apprehension somewhere here. With the with trying to balance something out, only because a whole bunch of cards came out. But remember, I saw the Eight of Swords. So but besides that, do what's best for you, especially coming in with all this energy. I mean, you could be working from home right now with the Empress, taking care of her family. You're the one, you're a single mother or father, but there's a lot of feminine energy, right? Taking care of a situation, trying to find balance, you know, going over options. You don't have to have your own business right here or a mom per se. Like I said, with the quarantine, you could just be staying home, you know, I mean, working from home managing all this so you're basically coming in as all the queens right now you're definitely using your intuition there's no question chances are some of you guys are a mother working from home or trying to figure out what's next with your career you can just tell by that energy because the queen of wands was at the bottom of the deck which is all about the adventure but you're coming in as a page because it's brand new brand new feelings brand new adventure brand new way of using the emotional aspects, aspects of your own being within your own chart. And you got freedom. So yeah, you feel free. Like I said, it's all about you. You pose the power to free and create your own happiness. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So continue on, on that role. Okay. Let's see what's next for you. Let's see what's next.
<laughs> Let's see what's next. What's next? What's next? What's next? Let's see what's next. So that's what I'm saying when I say don't worry about the previous energy. Okay. This is why. Because if I didn't do this, some of you guys would have stayed in that other energy. Like, oh, well, there's hope. And there's no hope unless this one's knocking on your door or physically talking to you. Until then, that's you. And it looks like you're interacting with somebody anyway. So for some of you, it's, it's not even until then. It's dead and gone. No going back. There's so many flipping at one and just one. What's next? What's next? Freedom. So it's like a before and after. So something's coming at you in the next few weeks. Bum 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 bum. Tell me about the next few weeks. Tell me about the next few weeks. Ooh, the fool wanted to pop out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It could be quarantines over. Yeah. I don't know. Prince, page of wands, prince of wands, which is right here too. So I don't know, yeah, if you have to wait until quarantine is over. Because what? There is like three weeks left, right? Before you see someone. Or within like three weeks. You are going to be one happy person. Because this adventure is the same adventure right here. That's the Prince of Wands, the Page of Wands. It's masculine energy, your energy. You're going to be happy with someone. And it looks like this new energy. So if you haven't met brand new yet, you will. And you're going to be on the same exact page. And it looks like right after the quarantine, because within a few weeks, to me, three, you know, within a few weeks, and that's three. We got three weeks left, and quarantine's over, and you are going to be one happy son of a bisca. That is for sure. So, that's the type of positivity I like. That's what, that's what the energy, that's the type of energy you want to you wanna roll with, Okay. So, and if you're not entertaining anyone right now, within the next few weeks, you're meeting someone. They could be a fire sign. Whatever it is, the situation, it's going to make you feel free and happy. Like the weight's gone. I I'm kind of feeling you're already feeling that way anyway. So, bada bing, bada boom. I love you guys. Bye.